Covering Hilo to Kona, Javi to Na'alehu, this is Big Island Video News. I'm Stephanie Salazar. The big news over the weekend, Governor Neil Abercrombie ended months of anticipation Saturday during a political event held at the Kona International Airport, signing into law a new set of rule changes governing the West Hawaii Regional Fisheries Management Area. The new rules will affect 147 miles of Kona side coast on the Big Island of Hawaii from South Point to Upolo Point. The new law prohibits scuba spearfishing, regulates the take of certain marine species for aquariums, creates a no-take list for other marine species of importance, and closes a 1,500-foot section of Ka'ohe Bay to aquarium collecting. And what the outcome will be in terms of differentiating commercial activity from ocean recreational activity. The rules were passed by the Board of Land and Natural Resources but seemed to stall at the governor's desk. Some who were involved in the creation of the rules feared Abercrombie would reject them. But on Saturday, the governor surprised the crowd that had gathered to recognize Kona's outgoing state representative Denny Kaufman with the signing. The governor said he had been looking for the right time to sign the law. Kind of ironically that this was the time to do it because Denny had been very instrumental in speaking to me about it and what the background was and how it worked. So uh, that was the reason for today. Captain Rick Gaffney, part of the West Hawaii Fisheries Council that worked on the rules package for 10 years, praised the governor's action. This basically assures that all the fish on this coast have a refuge and that overzealous uh, fishermen, particularly from other islands that, whose fisheries have been wiped out, can no longer come and, and rape our waters. State Representative Denny Kaufman was given a fond send-off on Saturday as Democrats gathered in his honor at the customs area of the Kona International Airport. Kaufman tendered his resignation from the District 5 House seat just a few days ago, citing the need to be with his family. His daughter is facing a medical issue, and Kaufman will be moving to the mainland to be closer. And I want to thank you now for understanding why I have to leave the state and go take care of my older daughter, Amy, who's in Flagstaff. And, and, I'm, and I'm running into people everywhere who are giving me hugs and, and wishing me and giving me prayers for Amy. So again, thank you very much. At the event were fellow Kona Democrats, from local politicians to the very top. Governor Neil Abercrombie attended and declared it to be Denny Kaufman Day in the state of Hawaii. Uh, everyone who he is here is here because they uh, uh, dearly love and respect him. Uh, they're very, very sad that he's leaving, but they understand completely that it's because of the kind of person that he is. Kaufman thanked the crowd for their support and their well wishes. And thank you for all this and, and uh, mahalo. And I will, and I'm, I'm not really leaving Hawaii because I'm going to be on the ninth island. <laughs> That's Las Vegas. <laughs> okay. uh. So thank you very much. Excitement on the golf course of the Manolani this weekend. Nick Mason birdied the third playoff hole to win his first Hawaii State Open over defending champion Dean Wilson. Mason posted a 4 under 68 in his final round. Wilson shot 5 under 67 to get into a two-way playoff at 10 under par. Drama on the second playoff hole when Mason missed a four-foot birdie putt to win but came back to birdie the third playoff hole with a 25-foot putt earning the $10,000 first place check. Um, I don't know, I always have a good feeling here. You know, I went to Hilo and I and, um, uh, went to high school in Oahu. I just have a better feeling in Hawaii. I always play a little better over here, you know, and I, um, other than hitting the ball good off the tee, uh, you know, the feeling I have over here is very relaxed. If I have a bad score back in the mainland, I kind of get upset here. I just, I look around and see where we're at and I just, it relaxes me a lot. So that, I think that's why I play better out here.